We rolled into the Lone Star State where a culinary duel is shifting into high gear. I'm Jesse Palmer, and this is Food Truck Face Off. Over the next hour, four teams will compete for the ultimate prize, their very own customized food truck for one year. But before any of our teams can hit the streets, they'll first have to impress our expert panel of judges that will select just two teams to fight it out here in Austin, Texas. Here is the thing. While each of our teams may have a passion for cooking, no one has ever set foot in a food truck before. All they have is this wild dream to own one. We're not going without that truck. Masala Rito's gonna take down the competition. And this dream will become a reality for the team that makes the most money over two chaotic days of selling. So who's got the street smarts to take home the win? It's gonna be one wild ride to find out. This is Food Truck Face Off. Our four teams are about to pitch their food truck concepts and food to our talented panel of judges. His passion for food has made him the go-to guy for the inside scoop on Atlanta's restaurant scene, Steak Shapiro. She's the owner of one of Chicago's hottest restaurants, The Boarding House, and has years of experience as a top TV judge, Alpina Singh. He's an LA food truck pioneer who's just launched the brand of his hit restaurant, Slapfish, internationally, Chef Andrew Gruel. Our judges will be looking for unique flavors, viable concepts, and solid presentations. So, let's meet the teams. First up, Jason and Jen. People are gonna love our food because it's gonna remind them of the family-style cooking that they were raised on. No gorgonzola aioli. <laughs> this is chicken fried steak. This is mashed potatoes. This is home stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm Jaren. And we're, we're fixing, fixing the feast. feast. And so are you guys. All right. Amen. We specialize in southern fried homestyle cooking. First off, this is the fixing the feast trail wrap. We've got chicken fried steak made out of ribeye. We have some mashed potatoes in there, fresh green beans, very awesome cream gravy, and a little touch of ketchup. Steak loves his ketchup. Ketchup, American gravy. Yeah. That's right, man. <laughs> this is the pork kebab and potato salad. Potato salad is jalapeno infused. The pork is marinated overnight. It's a citrus-based sauce. It's a very hearty meal. Give me some details on how you're earning a living now. I work for a catering company, and I work in digital advertising. This is really good potato salad. Thank you. I love the potato salad, but I'm yeah. telling you, that kebab is desperately seeking flavor. Yeah, it's a little dry. You can just see the visual that it's not juicy. I like this wrap. I think it's great on flavor. But why is this your dream? Our love for cooking and our passion for doing this can translate into a business. I feel like him and I make a perfect team. Something like this would make a splash, you know? They seem to enjoy most everything that we put out there. Bringing the flavors of India, Vasavi and Shanti. These are recipes that just speak to you. They're good, they're warm, they're flavorful. They scream comfort. Masala Rito! Here we go! I'm Vasavi. And I'm Shanti. And we're bringing the flavors of India to the streets of Austin, vegetarian burrito style. The first dish that my dad's going to be presenting is paneer tikka masala rito. It's with Indian cheese cubes marinated in a spicy yogurt sauce, green peppers, tomatoes, onion, and also homemade cilantro chutney. And then we have the curried sweet potato and chickpea rito. It's all vegan, so we have sweet potato, chickpeas in a coconut milk sauce with a tamarind chutney, and we added some spinach to it. Well, like, what do you do for a living right now, both of you? I'm in culinary school right now. I'm a certified public accountant in the United States. I've wanted to be a chef since I was five, by the way. Growing up in an all-American town, being like one of three Indian families, you know, I was teased a lot. I didn't belong, and I wasn't pretty enough, or whatever, and it still hurts, obviously. I chose destructive ways to kind of heal whatever was going on inside. I've overcome that. And last year I said, I'm gonna go be a chef. I'm a tough critic because I grew up with Indian food. Yeah. Your sweet potato, it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> but the paneer has a texture of tofu. Yeah. It's a little dry and crumbly. I want more gravy yes. and more sauce. The concept of a burrito and filling it with Indian flavors, I think has some legs, but is having your dad and a food truck next to you really the best use of everybody's time? I am 65 years old. The only thing I really care about at this stage of my life is about my two kids. So if that means my supporting her in getting this food truck 
and standing seven days a week and helping her out. That's what I'm going to do. Salarito's going to take down the competition. <laughs> Here to help us cool off, Lisa and Roger. There's a lot of chili in Texas. You can't go two blocks almost without finding some. But what we have, a lot of people in Austin are going to be excited about it. Hi, I'm Roger. I'm Lisa. And, and we, we are, are It's Chili, chili in Here. In here. <laughs> Our food concept is rustic homestyle chili served in a variety of different ways. So the first dish that we're going to serve to you is going to be our Navajo taco. It's a piece of Navajo fried bread. It has a New Mexico red style chili on it and all the fixings. And that's a traditional corn chip pie. Basically, just a Texas style chili, poured over corn chips, again, with the fixings. I really like the hats. I think this whole thing, is, <laughs> it's kind of ironic, actually. Yeah, it's a good uh, yeah. brand. I like the branding. The corn chip pie, that's cool. That's something I'm going to tell people about. And then this Navajo taco is a totally different spin on a handheld. Street food. Best part about the shell is that it's sturdy enough to hold all the goodness inside of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. But this Texas-style chili, while it's tasty, it's not bold enough. I agree with steak. For me, the flavors are a little muted. The chili's good but it needs to be outstanding. This is a much more dry style of chili, mm -hmm. but it's not the soupy chili. Right. This I know about Texas. You don't mess with their chili. Understood. Have you two worked together before? No. Are you ready to work together? As a blended family, we had the difficulties of dealing with divorce and custody situations. It's made us stronger as a couple. I think we have the drive, yeah. we have the ambition to share our joy. We got this. This truck is ours. Judges, get ready to be bowled over by Tanner and Kyle. We've been talking about this idea since we met five years ago and became friends. Super nervous, but this is our chance. We're going to go get it. Global Bowl is ready to take the streets over. I'm Tanner. And I'm Kyle. And we are Global, Global Bowl. Bowl. We're taking our passion and love for food around the world, and we're providing it in edible bowls. We've got eggplant bowls, taco shell bowls, pumpernickel, bread bowls, lettuce bowls, waffle bowl there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very delicious. It's a lot of bowls. <laughs> what we have here is our Gangnam style bowls, and that's gonna be a lettuce bowl, sticky rice, bulgogi, and then we're gonna top it with cucumber kimchi and a little sesame seed garnish. And then I have the soul bowl, and it's sweet cereal chicken tenders, country style coleslaw, Hennessy poached peaches, and then I'm garnishing it with a tempura waffle crisp. Do I eat out of this bowl? Is this edible? No, that's not edible. That is biodegradable, though. He right? almost just ate that. I almost just ate this paper I mean, here, or whatever it is. It's just you need some kind of serving tray to actually provide for people. So the lettuce is the bowl here? Yes. Correct. Don't eat the cardboard oh, oh, steak. Oh, I got you. What do you guys do for day jobs right now? I'm a general manager of a fast casual restaurant. I'm a headline cook. This chicken and waffle thing happening? So it's a cereal that's coated in the chicken? Yes, sir. This is cool. This is great flavors. You got a killer waffle here. This is delicious. And what you've done with the butter lettuce here is exactly what you would expect to have marinated Korean beef with. Now, the only issue is it's, it's just not strong enough to contain it. OK. Why do you think this particular type of food is going to work well on a food truck? People walk by our truck, they're not going to walk by. They're going to stop. They're going to get in line, because there will be a line, because we're selling great food. The judges loved the food. All right, judges, you now have to choose the two teams that will face off in the streets of Austin. Let's talk about my boys Jason and Jaron. The idea is let's put an old school Texas Southern meal in a wrap. And I liked it. But that pork was so bland. Those pork kebabs were probably one of the worst things I've put in my mouth in a long time. Masala Rito. And I got to say, the flavors of the Indian food is very authentic. My only problem is the paneer was the most disappointing part. And that's a key ingredient in this. Look, I think the food is bold in flavors. And that's what you want off a food truck. Let's talk. It's chilly in here. Navajo taco. I love the tortilla. But I got to say, that chili was weak at best. You know, it wasn't superstar, but maybe that's enough to have them be successful. There's personality in this concept. You can see it. The concept idea is a winner. The chili is not. Global Bowl, these guys have something going for them. Tanner has chops in the kitchen. The food's delicious. Yeah. What do I care about eating a bowl? You know what I want to eat? I want to eat what's in the bowl, and I want it to be tasty. All right, teams, our judges have sampled your food and they've assessed your presentations. But only two of you will get to compete for your dream of owning your very own food truck. 
So judges, who's staying and playing? And who's going home? So judges, who's staying and playing, and who's going home? We all agreed on this first team because we really like your food, and we really dig your concept. The first team to compete is... Masala Rito. Oh you gotta my be kidding God. me. You oh gotta my be kidding. God. Cannot be, you cannot be, oh my God, I cannot get over it. I cannot get over it. We made it! We're moving forward! Yes, Swati! Yes, Swati! Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, judges, who's the second team that's going to be moving on in our food truck face-off? Well, the deciding factor came down to food. The flavors, the creativity were just cut above the rest. The second team to compete is... Global Bowl. Yes! Woo! It was a slap in the face, but the most <laughs> beautiful slap in the face that you could ever experience. Love you, man. Fixing a feast. It's chilly in here. Thank you so much for your pitches, but I'm sorry to say you won't be moving forward. Thank you for this opportunity, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Now that our teams have been chosen, it's time for them to hit the streets of Austin and face off. Masala Rito, Global Bowl. Are you ready to meet your food trucks? Yes, yes. Sir. Let's do it. Well, here they are. Holy crap. Oh my God, bro, do you see that? Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. Yes! Oh my gosh! All right, well, go on, check them out. No, come on, let's go inside. Oh, my God. Welcome Hello. to the Camarino. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Dude. <laughs> when I met Tenor in the restaurant business, we worked together. He expressed his idea for Global Bowl. I was a huge fan, loved where he was going, and ultimately had to be a part of the team. I've studied at culinary school and just been building up my restaurant experience, basically. I've worked cuisines from Italian to Cajun to Mexican to quick service style. We would like to establish this business and ultimately use profit proceeds to put towards charities around the world to put food, water in these places where they're without. We're trying to make a difference in the world, one bowl at a time. My daughter's dream is coming true. Since I was five years old, I wanted to be a chef. Growing up, I saw food as a symbol for love and care. My mom worked a lot. She was a, she's a cardiologist, but she always managed to come home and would always feed me first. My mom has seen me go through massive identity crisis, drug addiction, alcohol, you know, just really kind of going through that torturous process of finding out who I was. She has a double master's, one from an Ivy League school. She also was a life coach, and now she wants to go into the food industry, for which she just recently graduated from the culinary school. Her dream is to spread her love through food. So be it. That's why I'm going to be there all the way for her and help her. I never thought that this would actually happen. I love this truck! Nobody in Austin is doing vegetarian Indian food. We're going to win this. The truck is as good as ours. We're going to kick some global bowl. Well, you've got two big days of selling food ahead of you. Whoever makes the most money will win their food truck, but we're not gonna reveal your total earnings until the two days are over. For your first sale day, we're sending you to South Congress, known here locally as SoCo. Now, this strip has a wide array of food choices, so the customers here, they've got their pick, so you've really gotta deliver. Now, both of you are going to be competing truck to truck what do you guys think about that? Yes. Yes. yes! Let's do it. Well, you've only got a couple hours till lunch starts. So you'll have 30 minutes to 
shop and buy all of your ingredients from the food commissary right behind you. So put your heads together and think carefully about what you need to buy. Today we're gonna to be serving our two signature dishes, paneer tikka masala rito, curry chickpea sweet potato rito, our signature drink, which is a mango lassi, and our side dish, which is a spinach pakora. Today we'll be serving our sole bowl. It's a waffle-based bowl. And then we're gonna serve the gangnam bowls. We're also gonna be serving wonton chips. Your shopping time starts now! Yeah! All right, we're straight to produce. I'm looking for it. Oh, well. I need Man. the ground spices. Where are all the spices? I found the plates and cups. Spinach right here. We got the rice wine vinegar. All-purpose flour. Timmy, I need the full-fat yogurt and the two gallons of full-fat milk. And then we also need mango pulp. All right, sir, ribeye. Uh, 10 pounds of ribeye, my friend. I cannot find the freaking mango pulp. I don't get it. My dad is shopping so slowly. I'm screwed. I can't make this mango lussy without the damn mango. Kyle! Yo, look for the canned peaches. Where's the paneer? I can't find the freaking paneer. One minute left now. You got one minute. I got the waffle bowls. I got the paneer. Eight containers of full fat yogurt. Holy sugar. Pears. I'm going to go grab pears. I almost forgot. Eight, five, yeah. four, <laughs> three, two, one. Yeah. yeah, we did it. That was really hard. Way too intense. They didn't have the butter leaf. So what I did, I got uh, romaine and iceberg romaine instead. Iceberg. The only thing that I'm worried about, we don't have a lot of the main spices. I don't know what happened to the eggs, though. I'll be completely honest. Dude, eggs have <laughs> gone missing. Did we take them off and leave them somewhere? No. Time for our teams to load up, hit the road, and start prepping at their first cell day location, Austin's famed South Congress Street. I have no idea where any of this stuff goes. It's not like my kitchen at home. We gotta go. Let's get out there. That's us. That's us. Let's go. What are we do gonna do about the mango pulp? Don't worry, I got the cut mango. Oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> Holy you're fine, you're fine. Keep going, keep going. Sure? I failed my road test three times. Go! Okay, beautiful, okay. Oh, shoot! Stuff is falling everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. I don't need to be invoking God right now. So, Co, here we go! <laughs> Butter leaf lettuce, man. I'm not even stressed over that. Without the eggs, man, I hope that tempura batter holds up. We don't have a lot of the main spices. Improvise is my middle name. This is the chance! This is it. Do oh, it. Do it. Done it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you did it! That's what I'm talking about! Shut your trap, Global Bow! Look what's ahead, brother! Woo! South Congress! Go. First one's on the scene! Let's move it, move it! I can't believe they beat us! Masalarito, the Global Bow, come on out! Woo! All right, well, welcome to your very first sell day. Yes. Woo. All right, you've got two hours to sell as much food, make as much money as you possibly can. Today is also going to be about the judges. And they're gonna be assessing your food, your presentation, and your customer service. Based on their evaluation, one of you is going to be receiving a special advantage for tomorrow's final sell day. Yeah. Get back on your trucks, finish up your prep, because in a half hour, you guys are open for business. Here we go. Yes, sir. Let's, let's go. go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to start a little prayer. We better not lose because we're too busy trying to light an incense stick. Let's get a good energy around this whole truck. Today we'll be serving paneer tikka masala rito for $8, curried sweet potato chickpea rito for $8, spinach pakora for $6, and tropical fruit lassi for $4. I'm making paneer tikka masala. It's in a yogurt marinade with all these spices. Paneer is like Indian cottage cheese. It absorbs whatever flavor it's in. Alpana didn't like her paneer because she said it was dry and crumbly, so I'm fixing it by marinating it longer. I did forget one main spice, which was kasuri methi. It's dried fenugreek leaves. It gives it a really nice flavor, and I also forgot dried mango powder. It's not exactly what I want it to be, but I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I am cutting the sweet potato as per my daughter's instructions. On this food truck, she's the boss. 
curried sweet potato and chickpea rito. So we have sweet potato, chickpeas in a coconut milk sauce with a tamarind chutney, and we added some spinach to it. I think this lettuce is really gonna work out, bro. Yeah, you think so? Oh, yeah. It's gonna hold in everything, maybe have a little more structure to the bowl. And we're gonna get bonus points from the judges because that's what they told us to do anyways. Today, we're gonna be serving our uh, Gangnam style bowls, and that's gonna be a lettuce bowl, sticky rice, bulgogi, and then we're gonna top it with cucumber kimchi and a little sesame seed garnish. We'll also be serving our soul bowls, which is a waffle bowl, mashed potatoes, two sweet cereal chicken tenders, poached peaches, and we're gonna top it off with a maple Dijon drizzle. We did a batch test on the tempura waffle. We don't have eggs, so we had to improvise. Uh, we went all tempura, and it uh, looks like it's gonna come out fine, so I think that we uh, dodged a bullet there. And for our side dish, we're gonna be serving wonton chips with your choice of ranch seasoning or house seasoning. Time-wise, we're looking good. Uh, we got confidence in our uh, dishes, obviously, and uh, looking forward to getting our food out there to the streets of Austin. Teams, I've seen a lot of hungry customers out here. You've got just a few more minutes before you're finally open. These all should have been filled up by now. You're not cutting fast enough. Hey, OK, what do you want me to do? I'm an old man. Padapa, don't use that as an excuse. This is a disaster. We're totally behind right now. You've got just a few more minutes before you're finally open. It's crunch time, baby. Crunch time is crunch time. Get these pads. I need you to take their orders. OK. It's time for the people to experience Global Bowl, buddy. All right, teams. It's lunch time. Oh my god, I can't believe all these people are here. The crowd is right in front of us. It's kind of overwhelming, but you know, it's go time. Got to do this. Let's knock this out. I'll take your orders right down here. Come on down. Let's get the, the sobo. And it's going to be $10. Very creative, very different. You got the peach, you got your tenders, you got your mashed potatoes, your waffle home. What else can you ask for, you know? Let me try them wonton chips. The wonton chips? And it's going to be $3. I'll toss these wontons as you're work, working your way over there. They're so good. They're really crunchy and nice, and they have a nice ranch garlicky taste that, I mean, I shouldn't go kiss anyone right now, but they're incredible. Another gangam? What do you got all day? Two gangams? Tanner and I's teamwork is on fire. He's the gas, I'm the flame. Order number 10. I did like the flavor of the bagobi sauce. Um, I just wish there was a lot more of it. It's pretty good. I actually like it. It's got a lot of flavor, not too heavy. I'm going to do the paneer tikka. Oh, I see two tikka masala. OK, give me two minutes. My daughter is going to make it. The rotis are not big enough. I thought the roti that we were going to buy was going to be bigger, so it holds more, but it's actually a smaller version. Thank you so much. Thank you. Paneer tikka masala, Rita, thank you. Our paneer tikka masala is flying off the food truck. It was like kind of small in the beginning, but when you start buying into it, it's like yeah, it's definitely good. bigger than it looks, I guess. I like the sauce, the green sauce that's on it, the chutney. It's really good. Um, it is tasty. I really like certain parts of it. It's not as flavorful as I was hoping for. Oh, do we have another paneer tikka masala that someone just ordered? What about? Yes, but what about... Uh... Did someone just order another one? Hello, we got to get these customers, because more customers, more sales. And he's not telling me, he's not telling me what they want. There's absolutely no communication. Shout out what they want, and I'm, and I'm doing it as you go along. Ooh. I know, I know, I'm bossy. Two curry sweet potato. OK, here we go. That's $8. Oh my god, she gave the money too. OK. What's your curry sweet potato? I'm doing that right now. I really love it. I love the sweet potato in there. I feel like you can put anything in a tortilla, and it's awesome. So, And I love Indian food, so it's a great fusion. Sir. The spinach pakoras. Oh my god, spinach pakora coming up. Pakoras are sold on the streets of India. Spinach pakoras are chickpea fritters. We're putting spinach, cilantro, a bunch of seasoning in it, and we're going to deep fry it. I'm going to use a fryer for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god, it's keep working. Keep it in, keep it in. Don't move it. OK, there we go. It's stuck. But the pakoras are like, I can't do it. It's getting stuck. One second, Chief, one second. The pakoras are getting stuck on the bottom of the basket. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It's not uh, moving. Oh my god, I don't know why. I don't want to give this guy 
Pakoras that are not cooked. You gotta tell whoever just ordered pakoras we're done. You ordered spinach pakora? I'm sorry, I'm done with that. We gotta take the spinach pakoras off the menu. This can't be happening. The heat is on in Austin, Texas, where two teams are competing head to head. Whoever makes the most money over two days will win the keys to their dream, their very own food truck. We're halfway through this lunch cell on South Congress, and while one team rolls through their orders, the other has a fryer food fail. No more spinach pakoras, okay? I'm so sorry about that. Our judges have just rolled in. They'll be assessing our team's dishes, their presentation, and customer service to determine who will win a special advantage for tomorrow's sell day. What's up? How's it going? Talk to me, brother. It's going Thanks. amazing. Hey, hey, hey. Now you're in the heat of battle. How's the, what's the vibe? We, uh, we keep calm, handle four to five tickets at a time, and straight up assembly. Just ticket comes in, ticket goes out. It's like clockwork. Oh, we're sweaty, we're hot, we're masalified. Well, you have a very wow. hungry crowd there. Yeah. So what happened with the pakoras? We 86 the spinach pakoras. Right what? now, Global Bowl is selling a $7 item and adding a $3 item on top of it. So per customer, they could be beating you. You have to learn to think quick on your feet. So I took out the frying basket, and I just said, you know what? We don't need the basket. They're getting stuck to the basket. So I just dropped the batter right into the oil, and it worked. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I love this. We got okay. rid of the fryer basket, and we're just putting it right in the All oil. All right, so the pakoras are back. Give us a pakora. All right, guys, let's start with masala rito, and we have their curried sweet potato and chickpea rito. Does that look like a burrito, or does that look like a taco? It's like a hybrid is what's happening here. I like the sweet potato, and I like the coconut. It's very prevalent, yeah. but you're missing the Indian spices. So what do we have here? The paneer tikka masala rito. Now, they did fix the issue with it being dry when we first tried it. It has more sauciness. But again, the flavors are lacking for some reason. Blandness kind of permeates it a little bit. Flying a little under the radar. All right, so we have their spinach pakoras. For most of their sell period, this item at $6 was not available. That's a shame. I wish it was. I like the seasoning in it. Let's dive into Global Bowl, and this is the Soul Bowl. There's something different about the waffle. They use a tempura-esque batter, and that's what made it very light and fluffy, which is what we loved about it. But this is kind of chewy and dense. OK, guys, so we've got the Gangnam Bowl. So remember, the lettuce just. It was a the, mess. The limp lettuce. Does it hold together? It's still kind of hard to eat and falling apart. So what do we have as a side here? So these are very simple wonton chips, and they're dusted in a ranch seasoning. I got to say, they're delicious. This is a good side. Masalarito Global Bowl, time is up. OK, that's it. Woo. Well, all right, we've collected your cash boxes, but you're still going to have to wait one more day before we can tell you what your totals are. In the meantime, our judges can tell you what they thought about your food, your presentation, and your customer service. Now, the advantage that's up for grabs today is a mascot <laughs> matched to your branding <laughs> that will be positioned outside of your food truck. Now, all different types of organizations use mascots to promote their businesses and draw in customers, so this is a big advantage for whoever gets it. Oh, Woo! my god. Okay. Let's do it, bro. But first, let's hear from our judges. Alpina, what did you think about presentation between our two teams? Global Bowl, the Gangnam Bowl. We had issues with the lettuce. You tried fixing it. Unfortunately, it's not quite there. A little bit of a mess. Masala Rito, the roti. You know, it's small. It's not quite the burrito. It's more like a taco. But at least people were able to eat it with one hand. It was portable. And people really seemed like they were enjoying it. So the award for presentation goes to Masala Rito. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Steak, how did our two teams fare when it came to customer service? Customer service, Masala Rito, what can I say? When it says spinach pakoro on the menu and a customer orders it, be able to deliver what they order. That wasn't good. Meanwhile, my guys over here, Global Bowl, you had it cranking. It was impressive. And maybe the fastest food out of a truck that I have seen. It was coming out in two minutes. 
Woo! Customer service, Global Bowl. Yeah! Mm. Woo-hoo! Yes. All right, we've got a tie, one apiece. Andrew, break the tie for us. Talk to us about taste. Well, when it comes to taste, there wasn't a clear-cut winner. Masalarito, the foundation of your cuisine is based on spice, and you forgot a lot of your spices. But Global Bowl, your Gangnam Bowl, was really on point and rocked with taste and flavor. The point for taste goes to Global Bowl. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right, Global Bowl, that means you've won today's advantage. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but never know. You'll get to meet your mascot tomorrow. <laughs> now, today, you both squared off against each other. But for your final sell day, you're going to be selling at the Midway Food Park alongside other food trucks. Yeah, yeah. Midway. Okay. You don't have to only worry about competing against other trucks. We're going to hit you with another challenge. For tomorrow, you've got to come up with an entirely <laughs> new dish. Oh, my god. A daily special to add to your menu. Gears are turning, trying to figure out what we're going to do. You've got less than 24 hours until your final sell day. So pack on up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo! Yeah. I was crushed that we did not win for taste, because taste is everything. Judges nailed us again on the lettuce bowl, second time in a row. We're bouncing around some ideas. And come sell day two tomorrow, we're going to be ready to roll. We are going to learn from our mistakes. We're going to implement. We're going to be amazing tomorrow. Ready to get out there, show these people what we're all about. The teams have restocked, picked up fresh ingredients for their new dish, and are heading out to Austin's popular Midway Food Park. We got everything which was missing on the first day. We finally got the spices. We got the eggs. We got everything we got today. The... Let's go. We're going 360 north, right? Let's do this, baby. You know what? Everybody could just go around me. You know why? Because I... Whoa. Ah! <laughs> We're going to catch them. Oh, oh my god. god, they just got here. Me too. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Them and their damn horn. Here we are, Midway Park. I'm right behind you. Machi, Machi, there's a cone right there. I don't don't go give the a cone. Don't go over the cone. cone. Easy, easy, Machi, easy, Machi. Woo! First place once again, made it here first. Yeah. Our new daily special, the El Cronito, is a tortilla bowl, shredded lettuce, Mexican marinated steak, black beans, fresh made pico, an avocado creme fresh drizzle, and a sprinkle of queso fresco. We have the Mexican influence. It's right south of the border. People are going to love it. The Coming to life. The lettuce bowl, it's not working. Instead of making that into an edible bowl, we're just going to chop it up and make it into a salad. We're going to take this one home. Global Bowl. We're doing our daily special. You know, we got that challenge yesterday. So I decided to do like a kid, but also adult version, grilled cheese, two pieces of our flaky roti, and stuffed with a cream cheese, scallion, jalapeno, masala filling. It's going to be amazing. The feedback that we got from the judges, like Andrew said, you know, food was under seasoned. We're just, we're, we're just gonna kick everything up. I didn't hold back. That has a ton of flavor. No judge is ever gonna tell me again that my food is not spicy enough. Crunching the cereal. That's it, bro. Dude, I feel like we could blend this stuff. <laughs> What'd you do? Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Give me a hug. Uh, bro, that's amazing. <laughs> what is this thing anyway? Hey, 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 hey! Hands up, hands up, up you, hands you up. Like you see this? This is bringing all the money over oh, here. Masala, baby, masala, let's go. I'm gonna see you later, more like it. The kids get excited, the parents get excited, and ultimately it's gonna bring both parties our way. This is not good for us. It's raining into the freaking truck. I see people lined up right now under the umbrella. They're gonna be fine. All right, teams, rain or shine, your lunch service starts now. <laughs> Oh my God, let's go, Parva, come on, get ready to place orders. Yeah! Step right up, step right up. Okay, what can I get for you and how can I help you? One daily special. One daily special, thank you. That's six dollars. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? I'll have the uh, El Cronito. The Cronito, up next. It has a good mix of flavors. I like, it has a little kick. I think the steak's marinated very well, it's good. 
One daily special. And uh, the mango lassi. Coming up. There's lots of cheese, plenty of cheese. It has a bit of a, a spice. I, I think it's jalapeno. It's really good. And this thing is what? not working. Are you serious? Dude. Why? I'm worried I'm not going to get this gas going, and we're not selling any more food today. Ah! This is serious. Without this gas line working, we are not winning this competition. I'm worried I'm not gonna get this gas going. If he can't get these gas lines flowing, we are f There it is. I think I got it, brother. Woo! Woo! Are we rolling? We're cooking, baby. Really? <laughs> Woo! Once again, I am the master of gas. Yes, sir. Got a gangum, a soul bowl, and a con coming your way. Close one. We're only halfway through this sell day, and even though this face-off is ultimately about the sales, our judges are here to find out if our teams have improved from yesterday. What's up, Steak? You doing all right? We doing, bud. Excellent. All right, double me up. Let's go El Cronito, and I got to see how the uh, the new salad deal's working. So give me the gangam bowl as well. Same right. deal. Bro, you still got the speeds like they were? Don't even walk away. It'll be out that quick. I'll put you on the watch. Try I'm, me. I'm Try me. Serious? All right. Go. Gong them in a crying down, please. Going down. Got those orders, brother? Order up. Wow, you weren't lying. 90 seconds. Wait till you taste them. All right, so uh, Global Bowl, they're Special uh, for the day is the Cronito. Yeah, it's a like taco a taco bowl. salad bowl. These things were flying off the truck. This was their number one seller. Good flavor. That, that's a lunch for yeah, somebody. Yeah, I agree. Good, Good job. Go. All right, so now we have their Gangnam Bowl. Now we had issues with it not being a wrap and it was very difficult to yeah. eat. Well, they abandoned their concept because there's nothing edible about that bowl. Yeah, but you know what? I'll take this over that. It's true, wrap the that flavors was are great. Apart. It's wow. delicious. All right, well, let's move on to the soul bowl. That soul bowl is a guilty pleasure because it hits all of your taste buds. A little bit of everything in there. It's a fun dish. It's taken a few days, but these guys have carved out a pretty nice lineup overall. Hey! Hey, guys. How are you? How are you? So uh, we asked you to come with a daily special. So what's your daily special today? The Masala Rito grilled cheese. It's uh, like a jalapeno popper, Indian style. Masala Rito grilled cheese is the daily special. That is delicious. Tasty, saucy, you portable. It's everything you want off of food truck. This, you know. this is such a critical item for them. Now we have the uh, paneer tikka masala Rito. Well, we asked for more spice. Overall, everything was kind of bland yesterday. So let's see how they did on the spice. And the whole truck, the smells were amazing. Wow, that is much better. I mean, they brought the spice. All right, so moving on, we have their curried uh, sweet potato and chickpea uh, rito. Listen, this was the dish that you oh, guys wow. were obsessed with, the, the lack of flavors. Cinnamon, clove. Oh, yeah, welcome to flavor country on that puppy right there. <laughs> that is really good. This is what you want when you're having Indian food. Time is up. Windows are closed. It's over. Woo! <laughs> I think we did fantastic today. Owning a food truck is my daughter's dream, and now it is my dream. After the second sale day, I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to stay composed, but in the end, this is a competition, and we have to win. My dad busted his behind this entire time. Nobody would do this for me. Nobody cares as much about seeing me succeed. I don't want to fail. I literally, I'm seeing my future, my livelihood on wheels right there in front of my face. This is our vessel of destiny. Global Bowl's going down. Masala Rito's got this. The second and final day of selling is over. It's time now to reveal a winner. 
I'm really proud that we were able to make it through these past two days. My reaction is one of tremendous pride because my daughter did such a great job and I think that is the greatest gift uh, that anybody can have. Destiny awaits and I just want to hear the verdict. I'm ready. I'm nervous as <laughs> <laughs> Global Bowl, Masala Rito. You made it through two challenging days of selling food on the streets of Austin, but only one of you will get the keys to your very own customized food truck. Now, before we announce the winner, let's hear from our judges. Masala Rito, first day wasn't clean. When you got pakoras on the menu and it's not in the truck, that's a big problem. No more spinach pakoras, OK? I'm so sorry about that. Day two, flavors were cranking. It all came together. Kyle and Tanner. That lettuce thing, that was a mess on day one. I mean, it was falling apart, we couldn't eat it. It's just about the architecture of this dish. But thankfully, by day two, you figured out how to make it better, and you gave us a product that was not only delicious to eat, but people were enjoying it as well. The teams, at the end of the day, this competition is about who made the most money over the last two days. Masala Rito, on day one, your total was $256. Global Bowl, on day one, your total was $352. Masala Rito, after two days of selling, your final total was $615. Global Bowl, after two days of selling, your final total was $766. That means Global Bowl, Tanner, and Kyle You've won the keys to your very own customized food truck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Shanti. Guys. Guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Vasavi, everything about you belongs in the kitchen. Your heart, your passion, your soul, your energy. And really, what you did for me was really special. You brought me back to my grandmother's kitchen, and that's a very special place in my heart. And I really want to thank you for that. Thank you. There's nothing more beautiful than the unbridled support of a father. Clearly, she has what it takes. I think really good things are ahead. Thank you. I just want to say thanks for supporting me throughout this entire process. My baby. My daughter and I will continue to serve love through food. This is not the ending. This is just the beginning. Congratulations, guys. Great job. Great job. Yes! Destiny came through, man. This is a huge game changer for us. This is absolutely amazing. We've got the truck. We've got the partnership. Here we come. Look out. Hey, go keep Austin. We're with that delicious food. Who's got the key? Get out of here. Here we go. We just won, done. No, it's just the beginning. We're just getting started. This is the small drop that is going to create the ocean. Yes! <laughs> it's ours! Couldn't ask for a better partner for this. Woo! Woo! Woo!